The Earth's internal structure is explained by the viewpoint of the condensed matter physics as follows. The distance between neighboring atom decreases as increase of pressure. So, the interactions among electronic orbits are enlarged by the increase of the depth in the Earth. The substance changes the electronic state in order to adapt to the circumstances. The interactions among electronic orbits are capable to produce the lower energy state. When it comes to the lower state of energy, the substance releases the extra energy. The extra energy contributes to the heat source of the inner Earth. The heat source of the mantle convection comes from the substance. The liquidity with good electric conductivity in the outer core of the Earth is explained by the degenerated state of electron that is occurred by a quantum resonance among overlapped orbits. The degenerated state of electron changes to the lower symmetry according to Jan Teller theorem. This lowest energy state corresponds to the solid state of inner core that makes possible to propagate a transverse wave. The kinetic energy of the substance can be increased beyond the cohesive energy when the size decreases by the excessively higher compression. The Sun possesses vast amounts of hydrogen atoms. So, those atoms are capable to possess very large kinetic energy. The chemical reaction may produce the energy that contributes to the heat source of the Earth. The covalent bond is explained as follows. Valence orbits of neighboring atoms configure molecular orbits with a lower energy. And, the molecular orbit of the low energy is occupied by a pair of electrons. The ionic bond is explained as follows. The valence orbit of large azimuthal quantum number large angular momentum enters into adjacent atom. So, the energy level of the orbit becomes the lower. The orbits with large angular momentum are occupied by electron. The metallic bond is explained as follows. Energy levels of valence electron in a metal form a band structure. The electrons occupies the state with the lower energy level. So, each atom in the metal is concerned with every atoms in the metal. The temperature of substance will rise by adiabatic compression. Here, how to describe the heat by the adiabatic compression is proposed as follows. Planck constant has the dimension of multiplication of distance and momentum. So, decrease of size in space without changing the quantum state increases the momentum. Now, a quantum state is fixed as P times Q1. Here, Q is the parameter on the size. And P is the parameter for the momentum that is inversely proportional to Q. The minimum energy is given at the equilibrium, that is Q0 equals 1, P0 equals 1. The effect of attractive force is expressed by potential energy. The change of potential energy is inverse proportion to Q. The change ratio of kinetic energy is proportion to P squared. The parameter epsilon on adiabatic ideal uniform expansion is defined as equation 1. Figure 1 is the energy diagram, as the variation of the adiabatic ideal uniform expansion epsilon. Effects on the Earth by the collision of meteorite is explained as follows. Collision of a meteorite compresses substance suddenly. It increases momentum of the substance in a limited area. When the total energy exceeds the cohesive energy, it will be asunder. The decomposition brings a state of equilibrium. The explanation that heat source on the Earth's core was given by the collision is inconsistent. That is, the energy of heat is transported from the place with high temperature. The temperature of center of the Earth is about 5,000 degrees Celsius. The collision between meteorite and substance at 5,000 degrees Celsius is not realistic. A quantum theory of the liquidity on a rock SiO2 is proposed as follows. Existence of ionic bond in the SiO2 is almost equal to covalent bond. But, there is a little difference in equilibrium size on ionic bond with a covalent bond. Here, the crossing size becomes the lowest energy by a quantum resonance, as shown in figure 2. But this state is the degenerated electronic state. The degenerated state is not the state with the lowest energy. It is deformed by Jan Teller distortion. That is the deformation of symmetry, to get the state of minimum energy. So, the small energy gap on the deformed state is able to bring the liquidity.
Heat source of the volcano near subduction zone of sea plate is explained by the mantle convection as follows. There is dissipation of heat from the interior of the Earth. The mantle that is beneath the oceanic crust carries the heat more than the mantle of the continental plate. The heat moves together with substance. The materials of sea plate is compressed at subduction zone of sea plate. The temperature of the compressed substance becomes high by the nature of the substance. That is, the heat of volcano near subduction zone of sea plate comes from the substance. Traditional explanations have issues. As for the explanation of the heat source is the friction of rocks at the subduction zone, the issue is the speed of plate movement is extremely slow. As for the H2O that is included in the sea plate liquefies the rocks of the continental plate, the issue is the hydrolysis reaction is an endothermic reaction. The processes that the Sun began the nuclei fusion are explained as follows. The Sun formed from a cloud of dust and gas of hydrogen and helium. Those substances were synthesized in the first generations of stars. The structure of the Sun was formed by the gravitational accumulation. It is a similar structure to the Jupiter, as shown in Figure 3. There was the nucleus that was made from iron and rock in a primitive stage of the Sun. The degenerate electronic state brings the metallic state. According to Jan Teller distortion, the degenerated state is changed by lowering the symmetry. The substance forms a solid state by the distortion. The solid hydrogen in the core of the sun explodes by extremely high compression. At that time, hydrogen atoms will get large kinetic energy. So, the substances such as iron were scattered from the sun by the kinetic energy provided from the hydrogen atoms. Formation of terrestrial planets is explained as follows. The orbits of terrestrial planets are close to the Sun. These terrestrial planets have a rock-solid ground. But Jupiter-type planets are orbiting the outside of terrestrial planets, and those planets are surrounded in hydrogen, helium and other gases. Today's atmospheric gas and Venus and Earth were provided from inside of the planets. The scenario that is consistent with these facts above mentioned is as follows. The solid of hydrogen in core of the Sun will explode under the extremely high compression. At the time of explosion, the many substances scattered from the Sun, and those attack the terrestrial planets. The gas such as hydrogen that had covered primitive terrestrial planets was shaken by the shock wave, and went out from the terrestrial planet at that time. Conclusions Explanation of internal structure of the Earth was proposed from the viewpoint of condensed matter physics. The accumulation of substances produces the electronic state with lower energy. The substance releases the extra energy when it comes to the lower state of energy. The heat by the extra energy of substance is increased at deeper inside of the Earth. In order to describe the heat on the adiabatic compression, an electronic energy diagram by using ideal adiabatic uniform expansion epsilon, as the variation was proposed. Moreover, the liquidity on rocks SiO2 was explained by a quantum resonance for the degenerated electronic state of Jan Teller distortion. In SiO2, ionic bond and covalent bond exist almost equally, but individual equilibrium size is a little different. So, the crossing size gives the lower energy level of degenerated state by the quantum resonance. The proposed concrete explanations are as follows. Heat source of the mantle convection. Heat source of volcano in the sea plate subduction zone. Metallic state on the outer core of the Earth. Solid state on the inner core of the Earth. The formation of the solar system. And the formation of the terrestrial planets. Thank you for your kind attention.